This week has been a week where we were celebrating the fathers. And I said every father is a man and every man is a father. Basically, we are talking about celebrating the man. All right? Because when if, even if you don't have a child, the truth is you have the potential of getting children. Because you have it in you. It's all over you. And that is why we are talking to you. Now, we are talking about ways of avoiding poverty. And in different videos, I have been teaching on different nuggets and different ways in which you can be able to do that. Now, today, I want to talk into something that is really near the heart of God. And I also believe this is something that we, especially men, need to understand. Because truth is, or truth be told, man, this is one area we are wanting. You know, I've mentioned during this week, I've mentioned a few things where men are wanting here and there. But believe me, you, this is one of the areas where we are so wanting. And that is a place of practicing generosity and ethical behavior. I decided to combine the two of them and just zero in and talk a little bit here and I'll talk a little bit there. Because I believe as a man, we are the reflection of the society. We are the ones who actually determine how the society becomes. Whenever you go into a society where the society looks so messed up, so full of crime and all that, most of the time is because the men in that community are not doing what they are supposed to do. They have failed. You go to places where things are not functional is because men are not doing what they are supposed to do. Women were created to follow, by the way. As much as we see them leading, as much as we see them strong and doing things, even above men. But the truth is, at the beginning, they were meant to actually come in and be led. And many women enjoy when they are being led. But listen to me. I want us to look at few, two scriptures, see what they have to say concerning this. The first one is in Proverbs 11.25. Look at this. It says that a generous person will prosper. That's a principle that is amazing. Is Right there alone is a message for one year. A generous person will prosper. Whenever you exercise and practice generosity, you have put yourself on the highway of prosperity. That is one thing many people don't understand and that is why many people are struggling because they don't realize it's a key that has already been given by God himself, a key which actually puts you in the path of prosperity. Now listen, I have said previously in some of my teachings that we don't just give emotionally or we don't give without using our brains just because something is happening. No, 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 no. We, that's another story for another day. But what scripture is saying right now is that if you operate in generosity, in other words, you are not a stingy person, you are not a holder, you are not one who is given not to releasing your things, but you are generous, you are able to help where there is need for help, you are able to contribute where there is need for contribution, you are able to intervene where there is need for intervention. That is what generosity is all about. Out. You are able to be involved in as far as changing the lives of people is concerned. He says, when you are that kind of a man, you will prosper. I love that. And then he says that whoever refreshes others will also be refreshed. In other words, he who is able to change the lives of others, the possibility or the probability is that they in turn will be changed. They will be assisted when they need assistance. They will be helped when they need help. Some of you men out there, there are people who will not help you because you are not willing to help them. This is another area where the women have beaten us, by the way. The women are beating us. How do they beat us? Because they have a heart of compassion. They have a heart of wanting to help others. They are compassionate about things. They want to be there for people. They are generous in every way. But women, what are we doing? We are rigid. We don't want to share our things. We don't want to give our things. We don't want to be involved. We are not generous in any way. So we are not refreshing others. And for that reason, because we don't refresh, we are also not refreshed. And when you are not refreshed, the problem is that you die alone. 
You understand what I'm saying? It is important for you to understand that practicing generosity as a man is a pathway to your prosperity. It's one of the ways of pushing poverty away from you. Learn to be a giver. Learn to be generous. Learn to give where you need to be give to give. Learn not to impress. By the way, please get my word. Don't give because sometimes men, we have a problem. We only want to give where we are impressing. We want to give where we are being recognized. If they don't recognize grace i'm the one who gave this i will not give it if they don't announce my name that i'm the one who has given this i will not give it that is a problem and that's a wrong way of looking at generosity no wonder prosperity doesn't find some of us or no wonder the kind of prosperity some of us are in is not prosperity that is bringing joy and peace but it is bringing sorrow and pain in our lives that's the first thing then in proverbs 13 verse 11 it says and this is crucial it says that dishonest money dwindles away <laughs> but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow all right there there are two powerful principles the first principle it says that whenever you have money which you are not receiving properly money which is unethical money which is through corruption money which is through dubious means and cheating and doing all kinds of crafty things that kind of money as much as it is there it dwindles away dwindling means what it means that money has leakages somewhere there are people who seem to be accumulating so much but their money keeps on disappearing with things here and there it dwindles away it is leaking through things you are getting it from this end but on the other end it is disappearing it is going 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 why is that so because you have not received it properly you have received it through corruption you have actually allowed it to come to you but in a crafty and ethical way May God deliver, especially the developing countries in Africa. No wonder we keep on dwelling in poverty and no wonder we keep on staying the way we are because leaders there, politicians there, they are just amassing things in a wrong way. And because of that, that money keeps on dwindling away in different ways. And by so they are doing, the poverty in the society becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. We must understand that as far as God's kingdom is concerned, as far as God's desire for us men is concerned, is that we may receive our money in a way which is ethical. We must have behaviors that are ethical, avoid corruption, avoid dishonesty, avoid receiving money in craft ways and in ways that are not right, avoid using methods that are not good to acquire our wealth or acquire prosperity. He says when you do that, it will dwindle away. It dwindles away because through sicknesses. It dwindles away through being stolen. It dwindles away by just things not being correct and things being wrong, being peaceless. I mean, so many things will cause the money to dwindle away. You have to acquire it properly. And then he says that, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. Now, right in that portion, we can talk so many things. Number one, it tells me that whatever you have in your hands, you can increase it bit by why? Pete, you start small, you grow into big. Don't try to go big. Start somewhere, step by step by step. Takes one step to make a thousand steps. Take the first one, the second, bum bum. Eventually, you take a thousand. What am I saying in this sense? You have to learn to use what you have. But at the same time, it is also saying by learning the issues of here a little and here a little, it removes the aspect of greed and desiring to be corrupt, to be dishonest. You don't want to amass quickly and eat for yourself quickly, trying to amass and to hold. No, no, no. no. You just take bit by bit, build bit by bit, bit by bit. He says here a little and here a little and eventually what does it do? It grows and grows and grows and eventually you become strong, you become wealthy, you become powerful and eventually you are something in as far as the community and the society is concerned now listen to me my friends you can be able to walk a life where you're generous and at the same time you are ethical and at the same time you are being just good in as far as helping the society and the community to become better men let's arise to the occasion let's do these things and let's avoid poverty thank you so much for listening to me all the way to the end i really do appreciate if you're here for the first time go ahead and subscribe and remember let's meet in the field of the millionaires because that's where you and i 
belong and i desire to see you there very very soon now listen i'm here every monday to friday 9 a.m central standard time that is here in the usa and i look forward again to see you in the next video please be sure to share please be sure to like and let's meet again in another video bye bye and see you